If it sounds like bingo and it looks like bingo. Uh, I guess it must be bingo. I suppose. It must be bingo. Today it's not daddy's bingo. Today it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Black Widow's bingo. Is she the Black Widow? Yes, this is Scarlet Emery, our Black Wimo. Wimo. Where did, Wimo? Where, did, where, did, where did her name come from? Uh, I pressed random a lot of times until uh, that name came up, and I was like, you know what, chill. Uh, so this is the Black Widow challenge, meaning... BWC. Today, when the Sim wakes up, we are going to find a husband to murder... Okay. Next week, I'm going to go and try to do the entire Black Widow challenge on stream for Kotaku. You can okay. find the rules if you s just Google search Sims Black Widow challenge. Um, but it's simple. Basically, I made a Sim with some specific traits. She is... Uh, What's her deal? She's really tired, it looks like. Yeah, she's super hungo right now. Um, so her traits are materialistic. Look at that. Look at that hungry romantic face. Romantic and snob. And her aspiration is serial romantic, which is uh, basically to have them break up with a lot of people. Um, and her oh, basically yeah. the whole deal with the challenge is we're going to find a husband, marry uh -huh. them, cheat on them, murder them. That's how wow. this shit goes. That's how that's how black widows work. Yeah. Is uh. I, I mean, the cheating is, I mean, usually a black widow uh, is a serial romantic who kills her husband for money. Oh, I mean, we're going to kill moves, them for uh, their money, for sure, for sure. So what is the what is the male version of that? Um, it's, it's a Johnny Ringo, I think <laughs> they call that. No, that's a reference to the film Tombstone, which is not a pizza. That's a <laughs> Have you ever seen Tombstone? I have not seen Tombstone, no. It's got Val Kilmer in it. I mean, come on. I thought you've seen every Val Kilmer movie. That's a joke. I haven't actually seen every Val Kilmer movie. So what we should do is Black Widows in this challenge are not allowed to have a job. So you uh -huh. can't just meet people to murderize through work. But the welcome wagon is now here. Why don't you change out of your underwear, friend? Yeah. Okay, the she's welcome wearing wagon is here, and we need to fig We got to... Oh boy! Are you living in Phoenix, Arizona? What are you? <laughs> what area is this you're living? So the problem with these people is, I'm pretty sure neither of them are rich. Yeah, you need to marry a rich husband. Right? Yeah, I need to marry a rich guy. Johnny Zest is his name. Yeah, he lives in a trailer. That really is a good name for a what do you call it? A a, a known associate of, <laughs> a, of a murderer. A known associate of a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a good name for one. So part of the other two goals of this challenge are to um, max out your charisma and cooking skills. So, oh Do you Lord. think there's ever been a uh, like a furniture designer who named his firm Charisma? Because have you ever misspelled Charisma Charisma before? Charisma, yeah. yeah. I'm not even joking about that. I genuinely want to know. Please, someone tell us. So we got Johnny Zest. Who's this other guy? This other guy What's his is, name? um, let's see. Whose man's is this? Who's man? <laughs> Dhruv Parikh. Oh, nice. He's uh, a young adult. Yeah. I'll, let's flirt with him and just see, like, whether or not he has money later. I know, um, that. How is one graded on the challenge? Oh, he says money. He just talked about money and tanks and weather. There is like a whole like point system and you yeah. get like a certain amount of points for every husband you killed. You get more points for uh, if you have children, uh, all that kind of stuff. There I like go. how this looks like a, one of those model rooms in Ikea. Like here's how much you can do with 393 square feet. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much. I was trying to like just um, make a house that wasn't cheating because you're not allowed to use money cheats in this one either and uh it's basically like you can have like one rug <laughs> just one yeah so we've got a question what's up the question is uh you can murder people in the sims well what i can do as oh she doesn't like me anymore um what i can do is once i move them into my household i can do fun stuff like uh build a pool with walls all around it so they'll drown yeah or uh, have them use a faulty gil grill so they're set on fire. Um, so it's murder. It's not. It's more like acts of God if I am God. God, can I just point out right now 
how beautiful is the sim? I'm like weirdly obsessed with how pretty she is. Yeah, that's uh, it's a little bit strange. Uh, <laughs> usually, uh, you expect video game characters to be uh, not cool. Yeah, but, but your video game character seems she seems very chill. As as Tim observed uh, when I was installing this, I have like over 700 mods in my mods folder, mm -hmm. so uh, a lot of work went into making uh, making the Sim as beautiful as she is. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I mean, that's a work of art in your video game. It's a uh, it, putting putting just real real art in there. Being like, yeah, I'm just trying to follow what's happening and talking at the same time. <laughs> it's hard. I'm trying to get her to like up her relationship with either of these people. And like this yeah. one, I flirted with him a little bit and it's like fine. Uh, Johnny Zest was not into it. Johnny Zest sucks. Yeah, that's how I feel. Get she's, this guy to. She's now going to, she's embarrassed now. So she's going to go upstairs and hide from everyone. Which, okay, I'll let you do that. That's why you have stairs. Get in bed with clothes on. Just just become a lump. <laughs> That's a little bit uh it's a little bit close <laughs> to the railing there. That's yeah. a good house though. I'd live here. I made this house. It's actually on the gallery. If you look for my, my gal uh my gallery page, it is Gossip Gita. If you're familiar with me at all, that would be obvious. But right, I like how this mirror kind of hides her bed, so even though this room is super small. She gets a little sitting area and also a uh, a living area. I'm going to kick out Johnny Zest, who was just in our home eating fruitcake. And then yeah. I'm going to go to a... Uh, just go away, dude. Dude, that's go a, away. That's a weird move, guy. Yeah, I'm going to throw away this fruitcake because it always makes everybody sick. Um, I placed all these counters backwards by accident, but then I think we're going to go out on the town actually and try to find some single eligible bachelors who are rich. What was she watching on TV? I wasn't sure. Let's go to San Maishuno. San Maishuno is actually based off of San Francisco, which if you look oh, at yeah. it, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it looks, uh, I've been there. Yeah, it looks like you've been there. I've been to San Francisco. Yeah. You used to live in Oakland, right? Oakland, California. Yeah. I lived there forever. Not forever, but I lived there for a long time. All right. So we're in the Stargazer Lounge, and this place has like a romantic aura. So... There's nobody here. Uh, give it time. We're going to order some... $7 for a pretzel? Simoleons are like different. I don't know. It's a dollar. If it's got an S and at least one line through it, it's a dollar as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> okay, she's feeling flirty. So let's see let's see what this guy's all about. Oh, he might be rich. Yeah, he might be rich. He's old. I feel like old people are rich, you know? If they're not, then they're <laughs> usually dead. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that how America works? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's my <laughs> I feel like this is our first target. This guy. He's, he's old, so he'll be easier to kill, right? He might just die, you know? He's talking about battle tanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> yeah, he's... uh. Christopher Weir. He's trying to get... Uh, <laughs> he's just, like, trying to... Listen in on somebody's conversation. Yeah, he's real nosy. <laughs> oh, this oh, guy's single. That's good. Ask him a risque question. No, oh, okay. First, I'll ask about his day, and then I will ask him a risque question. Someone in the chat is saying that there's uh, somebody walked in uh, slumping over, and they're probably rich. This guy? Yeah, that guy. Hang on. Oh, he looks like some. Oh my God, he looks like such a scumbag. Let's murder him. You have an incoming text message from Drew. Um, uh, whatever, Drew. Bye. Yeah, this guy looks like a, some sort of angel investor. Oh my God, he completely does. Look at his douchey ring. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Him. All right, let's get him. Oh yeah. 
Elijah is like wearing thin on us anyway. So what is the uh, what is the origin of this challenge? Where did this challenge come from? Uh, community members in The Sims like love to make up like fun little challenges. Uh, there's the legacy challenge. There is uh, a like post apocalypse challenge. Yeah. Uh, that kind of thing. And this one is just made from a member of the community um, who like just created all these rules and uh god we are not having very good luck with getting this person to like us they don't like us very much uh what what did he just say bokara musti <laughs> he shouldn't have said that okay that's all i know we gotta get hit our friendship up who's this guy oh my god top hat dude he just sits facing the other way Okay, so this guy is a celebrity chef, so I think we should definitely try to murder him because that's like the top level career. And he has plenty of knives in the house, so <laughs> people will assume it was an accident. Yeah, right? exactly. Exactly. So I'm going to try to get our friendship level up. What about so Uncle Pennybags here, though? Him. That guy's probably I know. rich. Who is that guy? Who <laughs> whomst is he? He's wearing a top hat and board shorts. Well, let's just introduce ourselves belt? anyway because we might want to murder him later. We're in some green elf shoes. I call those elf shoes. Okay, I also want to take a look at Rashid Mansouri. Woof. Who, buddy? Always bet on top hat equals rich, I would say. <laughs> I just, like, he looks so much like a tech douche that I really, really, she really just, want to murder him. Did she just disparage the concept of marriage? Uh, uh, I mean, the institution of marriage. Uh, by, there was, like, a wedding ring with a ball and chain attached to it. Yeah, she is kind of wants to. Uh, she, she's looking to marry. She says she doesn't want to get married, but only to that guy because she wants to marry a guy who yeah. wears a top hat. <laughs> uh, can you can you wear this top hat? Uh. She's ordering herself a drink. So we should probably make some female friends also at some point, uh, so that we can invite people to our wedding yeah. that aren't just potential paramours. But just I get think a bunch of these. Uh, just get like a whole crew yeah of sex into the city looking yeah ladies. exactly but i'm going to i think uh get myself some friends and then tomorrow i'm going to try to ask out that, Elijah. that lady there looks vaguely like cynthia nixon the she lady does. standing by the bar. she does no oh no not not when she turned around i was like is that her can you have oh no home? she looks oh. way lamer than cynthia nixon does cynthia nixon looks cool close enough for a cartoon video game though I'm gonna let her finish her drink. Can you imagine if they if they Mortimer made Dog. like a if they like Batman begins to, uh, Willy Wonka? You ever thought about that? Sat around and just really, really thought funny. about that, right? Wouldn't that be interesting? That would be amazing. I mean, that's what Tim Burton tried to do with his movie. Right? Yeah, but it was just it was too cloying and too much of a. Because uh, I know he's doing the Dumbo movie. The guy in the hat reminded me of Willy Wonka. Yeah. And it reminded some people in the chat of Willy Wonka, so I figured I might okay, as well. Okay, he's on our list speak up. of potential people to murder. Um, Willy Big Boy Wonka. Willy Big Boy Wonka. His middle name actually was Big Boy in the book. That's a joke. <laughs> no, I thought you were you telling a joke. Willy Big Boy Wonka. Oh, so we're going to pee, have a salad. Maybe watch some TV so she doesn't die of lack of fun. <laughs> and then we're going to go to bed. And tomorrow I'm going to ask out uh, Elijah, the, the tech bro. Oh, yeah. And uh, maybe while she's sleeping, I'm going to fix these cabinets. He's so going to be I like, not sorry. I put the wrong way. Sorry, I only did bitcoins. <laughs> 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 and then he's going to just like. Like remove his 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 shorts and there's just a black hole, and then he like becomes like he like shrinks to the size of an atom, and then you get a text from him. He goes, he goes, buddy, I'm in the crypto. <laughs> buddy, I'm in the crypto. Come on in. Oh uh, God! So because she's a snob, she's bored from watching TV. Oh, she just yells at the TV like my mom. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, so now the sim is my mom. Oh, man, she sits so properly. <laughs> she is such a bitch, and I love her so much. 
<laughs> she's a huge jerk. She's an absolute jerk. I mean, so wait, she's, what's, she's she, going to murder people. Is she also an idiot? Can she be an idiot and a jerk at the yeah. same time? Okay. Um, let's she, make her an idiot and a jerk. <laughs> she's an idiot but, uh, and a jerk. But an extremely good luck when it comes to murder. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see this murder. I gotta see this. I really can't. I, okay, so what do you think should be the way that we kill this guy? Should we get him into a, a cooking accident? Should he? Um, we can feed him to a piranha lake if we have enough money to buy the piranha lake, uh, or we can drown him. There's a lot of fun ways to die. We can send him out into the world during a thunderstorm. Can we drown him in his own money? Um, actually, maybe. Can we feed him a smoothie that has like some some lead shavings in it that he doesn't notice, and then that he one, ends up just dying very slowly? No, unfortunately, no. We can feed him poorly made pufferfish uh, sashimi that will cause him to choke to death. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah, that's good enough. I would say uh, give him like mercury poisoning. Yeah. Very slowly. For uh, uh, like several cereal. years. I mean, that would be my preferred way. Okay, if you were going to murder your spouse, what? how would you do it? I would blow the whole house up. Yeah? <laughs> with me. <laughs> with me in it. <laughs> I'd go, I would say, check this out. <laughs> but then you wouldn't, okay, but... <laughs> I and feel I like, that's just, just, like that's just a murder suicide, I, I, you know? Like, that I doesn't would, really help. Hey, technicality, there is a murder there. Yeah, that's true. Uh, she wants to read a book, I guess. Okay, I would I'll whip out a that. Zippo, and, and I would just go, click, and then kaboom. Because the whole house would be flooded with gas. Okay, Um. now what we're going to do is we're going to call, invite to hang out at current lot. Uh, he's not available. Oh, Uncle Elijah Pennybags? is not around. Uncle Pennybags? Yeah, we could invite over a Drew, but I don't know like whether or not he's rich. We could, I don't think he's rich. You don't think he's rich? Should we go out in the town again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Hope maybe we'll just run into Elijah or something. Let's go to... No top hat, no big cash. Let's go to Del Sol Valley because that's where the famous people live. And there might be like a famous person that we can get money from or something Pectoral like that. Pectoral Fitness. Yeah, let's go to Orchid Go Go. Wait a second. Now you're available. Oh. Okay, now we're just going to go out with him then. Call him up. I'm going to flirt with you and you're, she's, he's going to agree to marry me whether he likes it or not. Okay. Then cheat on him and then murder him. Exactly. Easy. Okay. Deep conversation. Uh, tell dramatic story. Uh, discuss interests. Hopefully we can get everything up high enough so that we can get engaged by the end of this episode. In the next episode, we can uh, marry him and kill him. <laughs> Look at those yellow shoes, huh? I know, they're kind of a lie. <laughs> He's wearing those invisible socks. In the parlance of uh, the children, what are those? Oh my God, he's family oriented. If we murder him, he's going to be so upset. That's good though. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Oh, There's no God. use murdering somebody if they're not going to be upset. when they This is like becoming more and more like a Coen Brothers movie. <laughs> like right at the end, he's got his last words have to be like, dude. <laughs> Do you remember Brad Pitt's face in Burn After Reading when he gets shot? Oh, man, don't spoil a movie that we could recommend, but that's okay, yeah. Yeah, man, that dude's so surprised. He does get shot, but does he die? We don't know. We don't know, actually. Brad Pitt's character in Burn After Reading is hilarious. Can we reenact the entire film Burn After Reading in The Sims? Um, unfortunately, no. I oh, want no. to, though. Burn After Reading is a very, very good film. Someone in the chat says it's even better now than when it came out. That's true. Um, however, I saw it when it came out, and I, I told all my friends to see it, and none of them did. But now they all have seen it. Oh, he's flirting now. He's flirting now. Okay. First kiss. Oh, no. Wait, did oh, my you God, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Very soon he can become my boyfriend. Did you put their uh, the poison on her lips? Uh, you know, 
If only I had thought of that. Oh my god, he has earrings. I love that sweater though. Check out. Hang on. Check yeah, out. Yeah, it's pretty sweater. good. This sweater is nice, and I actually like his haircut. Kind of mustache throwing me off, but otherwise, for our first murder victim, I think he's he's like okay. Yeah, I think I think it's okay to kill anybody in this game. Yeah, well, I mean, they're not real people, so that kind of helps. Yeah, they they really they pad that out by calling them Sims, so you just know yeah. they're not real. Yeah. I'm gonna speed through these next couple interactions because I just want to ask them to be my boyfriend and then ask them to be engaged to me. People in the chat are still talking about Burn After Reading. I mean, it's a great movie. It's on. It's on Netflix. It's definitely yeah. on Netflix. And uh, someone in the chat is saying, hot take, it's yes. too cynical. Yeah. I think a lot of Coen Brothers movies are uh, accused of being too cynical. And, I mean, sure. Great. It's look well at, made, though. Look at how happy he is to be her girlfriend now. And <laughs> I, like, feel bad that we're ruining his life. Mm-hmm. But I know it's the point of the challenge. Okay. We have to raise his friendship to propose. So I'm going to do that. Um... Let's just be friendly. Let's ask him about his day. Let's uh, uh, not ask to be just friends. Let's brighten his day because we got to work on our charisma. Um, we already just asked about his career, but I'll do queuing it up all of these commands, and they're just gonna all unleash at once when yeah. you. Yeah, uh, it's like when you meet someone new and they just can't stop asking you questions, and you get really, really overwhelmed, and you just don't know what to say, and then you'd forget like what you do for a job. <laughs> One fun thing to do is uh, uh. I was going to try to make a, a joke that made me sound like a psychopath, and then I realized that people would just believe it. Yeah. I was going to be like, it's fun to just like go into a bar and just talk to somebody <laughs> and like give them a different name. Like, just tell them your name is a different name, and then tell them your job is different, and like just lie about everything. That I mean, was I was going to make a joke it. like that. You could do it. I don't actually. No do one that, can though. stop you from doing that. Does it say? If someone says it looks like he's unemployed. What? I thought yesterday he was like a celebrity chef. I think that was the guy with the hat, or was it? No, I don't know. I didn't. Uh, maybe he's retired, someone says. Oh, maybe he just retired. Okay. Well, I hope that, I really, really hope that he has money because we need money because we're not allowed to have a job. You guys are getting a lot of work done here in this uh, <laughs> in this sidewalk. Well, just literally out in the sidewalk. Okay. Oh, no, the celebrity chef was the guy with the man bun, they said. Oh, well, we're already... In oh, no! Wow! Okay, now kill him just for that. <laughs> You're my boyfriend. Uh, okay, well, she has to pee really bad anyway. He can just deal with that over there, I guess. Maybe this is the celebrity chef's restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that he just... Uh, he just turned me down. I wish what finding a, a bathroom in real life was as easy as uh, what you just did. Yeah. What is that lady trying to do with that camera? She's oh. trying to take a picture of this guy, but she's having a problem. She's just kind of waving it around. <laughs> is she okay? Okay, there she goes. She's malfunctioning. <laughs> Her full name is Mallory Functioning. <laughs> 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 That's her name. <laughs> oh, my friend Dvac is in here. Hi, Dvac. What if he's her true love and they can never be together because she can only marry guys she's going to murder? That is such a sad story. Yeah, it's oh it's, my God. it's awful. But it's probably real. Yeah. Um so she's embarrassed right now. She's going to order a drink, which honestly, I get it. Who's this guy? Paparazzi can't be rich, right? Bro, oh, is he talking smack about you to your face? What? Okay, these people are just fans. Who cares about them? What are they You're taking the pictures of? She's the she's a famous person. She's a young and adult. And she's stuck on a corner. <laughs> she's a B lister. That's not bad. Yeah. Does oh that my mean God, she she's so upset right has now? Has blisters. Look at how. <laughs> okay, this is this is gonna be the thumbnail for the she next She still episode. looks she still looks pretty good even though she's uh Yeah. Embarrassed. She's beautiful, just having a hard day. You gotta have a hard day every once in a while. Uh, I need to... That's not true. You don't have to. You don't actually have to. But it is possible. Who are you talking to right now? Oh, you're talking to a teenager. Please don't do that. You're going to get arrested. Um, I think Elijah went elsewhere. 
But I'm determined to at least propose to someone before this episode is over because I want to murder someone to take all their money. That guy's, that teenager's evil also. Um, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's see. Let's go back to our home. And see if we can't invite Elijah over. Well, like, no, we can't. Damn it. I just so badly want to get that. kill Who's someone. <laughs> Please don't clip that. <laughs> Die. Oh, my what? God. He came with us. Hi. Ew. Hi. He's an unemployed hater. Oh, my God. Okay. He's an unemployed hater, you say? Yeah, that's what he is. He's an unemployed hater. She's having such a hard day. She's a hater as well of I mean, herself. That's true. <laughs> It is it is quite creepy that he followed her to her house and then reads a book and then stands up as though inspired by some idea. Yeah. Ooh, I read something good in this book. <laughs> He's thinking uh, not unfavorably about you. Maybe if they woohoo, she won't feel as awkward anymore. Yeah, because now they're just flirting again. Okay, just just go go woohoo. Yeah, he's uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'll just speed through this. You don't need to see them woohooing. It's fine. It's boring. <laughs> They're just rummaging. Like, I don't know. Really know what they they do under the sheets. I think they roll around under there like s like 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 weird little gremlins. Like snakes having a conversation. You know, just kind of like slithering around on each other. Yeah. I think that's all. It's nothing really. Uh, nothing really specific happens. Okay. Well, Johnny Zest approves of our new conquest. Johnny Zest? I feel like he should be like our partner in crime, you know? Yeah, he seems like a good uh, murder friend. Yeah, a good murder friend. He know He's also a scammer, is the is thing. She eating I feel like he's also a scammer. Is she eating a magical grilled cheese sandwich? Well, it's a high-quality grilled cheese sandwich, so it's sparkly. Doesn't your food sparkle when it's excellent quality? Oh, no, I don't. Uh, I don't eat nice food. Oh, uh, okay. You just eat your murder meal? Yeah, I eat, I eat the same. So yesterday I found out I was lactose intolerant. Like, the doctor is, like, almost 100% sure that I'm lactose intolerant. And yeah. I'm incredibly upset I by this. I think it's this. easy to diagnose. Yeah. Just be, because you're lactose intolerant doesn't mean you can't have a whole bunch of cheese every once in a while. All right. You know? My brother's been lactose intolerant forever. Yeah? He, you know, he you know he eats whatever he wants. And then just complains about it. Is our man's just sleeping in our bed? Yeah, whose man's is that man's? It's get, our man's. Get him out of there. And he's just sleeping in here. Come on, wake wake the hell up. So wake the thing up. is, not not all cheese uh, basically kicks off lactose intolerance. You can eat like hard cheeses, Parmesan. Any of your hard cheeses you can usually deal with. Somebody in the chat uh, at Banksy Home Depot says, I'm lactose intolerant, and I also just eat whatever and deal with the consequences. Lactose intolerant, it's it's interesting to note, is different from a milk allergy or a dairy allergy. So Yeah, it is different. It's more like we, I, I'm not allergic. I don't have an allergic reaction, but my body can't digest lactose, so it just kind of goes right, yeah. up, right through my body. Yeah. So lactose, either way, I mean, lactose is a sugar. It ends in O-S-E. It's a sugar. So you yeah. shouldn't even eat sugar anyway. Sugar sucks. Just eat it once a week. I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, I hear most hard cheeses are naturally low in lactose anyway. And sheep cheeses and goat cheeses, yeah. Yeah. So I, it's not like I am for never, ever, ever can have, like, any cheese ever again. Yeah. And I already pretty much don't like milk. I p use oat milk for everything that I can. Okay, please accept this time. Please. But he's not rich. I just need to kill him. Oh, my God, yes. He's going to put the ring on. He put the ring onto his ring. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get married, like, uh, maybe tomorrow. We need. Oh, my God, wait. We need to have a 1,000 simoleons in order to get married. And we only have... 446. Shit. What are we going to do for money? What is this girl? Girl, what are you going to do for money? 
I could go and find some collectibles and sell them. She could become a contract killer. <laughs> How much does it cost to hire somebody to kill somebody? What is the going rate these days? Yeah, let guys, us know let in us the chat. Know. Let us know. Let us know in the chat if you've had somebody killed recently. Yeah, if you've had someone assassinated, please let us know in the chat how much it costs. I'm really curious about that. When I was in college, I used to do stuff like, uh, you know, write, uh, what do you call it, speculative fiction. And, and it just kind of got out of hand and it veered into like comedic speculative fiction. I, I wrote a lot of short stories. And one of them was like a future where it's okay to have somebody murdered. You know, it's like, what if, what if you could, what, <laughs> what if you could just get somebody killed? And it was like buying a car. It was basically the cost of a car. Yeah. The more, uh, the more difficult to assassinate the person, the more uh, expensive the car. Okay, I'm looking for stuff we can sell so that next time we can definitely have a wedding. I should show you guys all the like. Inc she found a diamond. Oh, that's good. So this is basically how I make money. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking for stuff in the street. Running, running with the perfect form and impossible shoes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> around my neighborhood. And yeah. I Oh, she found a, a frog too. No, she I'm going to eat sell. it. I'm going to sell all of these. Sell the frog. So yeah, the so the rules in my little speculative fiction were pretty simple. It's if the guy drives a Mercedes, the hitman costs about as much as a Mercedes. Interesting. Right? Basically that's about it. The sorts of people who uh, become contract killers can't exactly demand the highest. They can't demand millions and millions of dollars. Yeah, because they're still still doing a murder, right? Yeah, you know, like it's super illegal. If you didn't want to pay that money, all you have to do is report them to police. Exactly. You don't want there to be any bad blood when yeah. you're when you're killing somebody. <laughs> 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 so I would say that uh, killing this guy might cost around. Uh, does it? Does it? Scale up to however many cars the person owns. If the guy has a private jet, does it cost as much as a private jet? I mean... No. I think it costs as much as automobiles. Like, if he has, like, 20 cars, it would cost the cost of all those cars together. If a guy takes the bus, is the contract on him, like, 250 Well, this is where it gets weird. This is where it gets weird. Basically, the cost of a contract killer for somebody who takes the bus is, like... I want to say 25% their yearly salary. I think that's that's fair. Oh my god, we're so freaking close. And a person who makes no money, let's face it, you know. Yeah, so <laughs> Jay Leno is the most expensive uh, yeah, oh my god. person to assassinate. Because he has so many cars. <laughs> yes. Uh, the fact that he's like obsessed with cars is like the most loathsome thing about him, in uh, my personal opinion. Another another difficult guy to murder uh, to pay to murder would be Clive Cussler, author of the Dirk Pitt novels. <laughs> Dirk Pitt is uh, a, an aficionado of classic cars. She so does not look just like, like the author. A person who would fish, but it's a way to make money. And you know what? We're here. You know what's surreal is fishing in Final Fantasy XV. It's like I've, the main yeah. character's favorite hobby and skill. Yeah, he. It is bizarre. It is super super wild. Yeah. No, I can't do anything with that. Okay. And he's just fishing in his, uh, in his like forty forty five hundred dollar looking <laughs> runway fashion outfit. <laughs> I lo so I've been playing Final Fantasy fifteen. Uh, I never played it, and I played about half of it last weekend, and I hope to play. The it's not very long, I don't think, and uh, I love it so much. It's really, really good. Final Fantasy XV is fun up until a point. Oh, where everybody it says stops being ev fun. Everybody says there's a point, but I've got my good time hat on, so I'm ready to have a good time with whatever happens in it. And apparently, I've been told the most uh, game design wise bad part of it was patched to become oh, much better. Oh, oh, yeah. There was a chapter that was just a nightmare. Yeah, honestly. there's there's a chapter everybody hates. So apparently, that chapter's been completely. But I like have so much easier. fun with the good time boys. Like whenever yeah, I, like those guys. I love them so much. Like I get really emotional thinking about how great they are. It's wild that you learn all four of their names and personalities within like thirty seconds of the beginning of the game. Oh my god, there's a community garden. I can just steal all these things. Steal some herbs and sell them all. I'm so happy about that. So this comes back to The Sims because uh, everybody in Final Fantasy 15 who's not your dudes just looks like this. They look like Sims. 
What if... I love it. For next time, yeah. I m- just placed the Final Fantasy XV boys somewhere in in the this world. Can you... Can, is, is there, are there mods that where people have just made them meticulously? Yeah, I can... Uh, um, she needs to go the go home and go to sleep. I guess. Um, Can you marry Ignis and then kill? <laughs> Why would you kill Ignis? He's so wonderful. I couldn't kill any of them. Well, no, that's not true. No, the, well, I mean, the big boy, I could probably kill. There is a popular conversational exercise. Uh, She's gonna piss herself. I know it. I pushed it too far. <laughs> look at how high her pee need or how low her pee need is right now. Look at this. Look not at, good. Look at look at her. I could have been a contender face down it's there. It's five a.m. <laughs> And, and she's going to pass out on this bench. She's going to pop. And now she's like, going to pee herself. She's going to pop like a water balloon all over the sofa. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Her clothes oh are filthy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Her socks are filthy. Oh, boy. Take a shower, go to sleep. Take a shower, go to sleep. People are saying they would kill Prompto. <laughs> no! Prompto is my favorite. I wrote a fan fiction about him and published it at Kotaku.com. If you have to kill one of them, marry one of them, and then the other thing, the other two. (laughs) That's that's the exercise. Kill, marry, the other thing. Yeah, kill, marry, and the other thing. But you get to do the other thing with two of them. Ooh. Two of them. Well, I I want to marry Prompto. No, or no, or you you can do any one of the three things with two of them. But let's say, anyway, marry Prompto, other thing. Uh, with Ignis and Noctis and um, the the other guy, he can go. I would say marry Gladio and then kill all the others. You want to marry Gladio? <laughs> Gladio's the best, yeah. Oh, man. I didn't know that about you. <laughs> Gladio's, Gladio's cool. He reads books. Not only does he read books, they're like like old Japanese literature. He's like reading, he's reading old Japanese literature. Do oh. I just go on a date with this guy? You're like, you can't date when you're engaged we're just you're, going on you a don't date. you don't call it going on a date you, it's what you have to do you are required by law to do it gladio loves cup noodle yeah right, that is like the one thing i really really love about gladio is that he loves cup noodle also he's the best in the fights yeah, they're gonna woohoo in this book he right revives now. me every time that's true wait okay so i guess when we're when we're talking with about the the fmk here uh <laughs> like you can't really count noctis let's say noctis doesn't count just take the other three yeah. So they're gonna woohoo in this bush all the way over here. Everyone says marry Noctis, become a princess. You can't. Noctis is already getting married, and he's on. Un- you can't kill Noctis because he's surrounded by bodyguards who are the toughest dudes in the universe. That's you true. You can't marry him because he's engaged, and you can't. Uh, you can't the other thing him because I don't think he's even into that. So <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he's not. You uh, think Noctis is ace? Yeah. Yeah. I think he is. Actually, that makes a ton of sense to me. I mean, that's my impression of. I'm not. I'm not making light of this at all. I actually yeah. think. I actually think that. I that's think, your headcanon, that that as the kids say. Yeah, that's that's like what I think, and I think that's cool. I'm looking for the bar they were at. They walked so far away from it. Now I don't know where it is. Oh, wait, here it is. Here it is. Okay, she's really hungry. Is the reason. She's really got to order some food. Oh, people are trying to discuss these Final Fantasy 15 protagonists, and their their messages are getting held by chat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> allow them because they're not a. It's hard to talk about this without getting gripped and ripped by our mod bot. That is true. That is true. Make sure to call it the other thing, you know? Yes, yeah, so we've got... Oh, my God. It's Travis Scott. <laughs> oh, we're seeing Mary Ignis for his cooking skills. That's good. That is a good idea. This does not look like Travis Scott, but oh. he's going to get introduced anyway. Is that Joffrey from Game of Thrones? <laughs> that's what haircut he would have if he was a real person. Yeah, Joffrey. that's true. That's the 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 front Whoa. edge up is. Is she eating uh, meatballs for breakfast? She's having some curry worst. Oh, I've been to Berlin. They love it over there. Yeah, I haven't been to Berlin. I really want to go. Oh, uh, Berlin. Yeah. It's uh, I'm gonna tell you what, a heck of a place. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful in the springtime. <laughs> I'm saying because I've only ever been there. In the spring. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you can tell somebody's really, really uh Look at these really people uh kinda standing over here in a sort of half circle. Man, that looks like my buddy McCune back when we still lived in Japan. Shout out to McCune if he's watching. Yeah. He he's does. the DJ. Shingo Yamamoto. Yeah. Hey Shingo. Hey Shingo, what's up? Can you actually DJ or are you just gonna stand? That's my big question. That's Somebody my in the big chat question, says honestly. the one and only time I went to Berlin, there was a beer festival right outside my hostel. Mm. Buddy, 
If you're staying at a hostel in Europe, there's always a beer festival going on right outside of it. Right? I mean, yeah, come on. That is true. I've been to Europe, okay? Oh, there's. Oh, someone was just asking what happened to the fiance. He's right there. Yeah, here he is. So, which Final Fantasy 15 protagonist would this guy be? Is he an Ignis? Um, no, he's he's the the weird old guy that wants to murderize you. You know, when Final Fantasy 15 was first announced and it was revealed that all four protagonists were dudes, I remember seeing some uh, some dudes getting mad that there weren't girl characters, that it's not fair to girls. And honestly, then, I, I understand that, but honestly, for me, what I really loved is that it felt like I was hanging out with a bunch of dudes in a way that I would not be able to hang out with a bunch of dudes as, as yeah. a girl. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not... I'm not not a dude. Yeah. But uh, I was like, it wouldn't that be kind of cool? Like, I don't know. Um, and also, can't they just make it? They should also totally make a four chill girls uh, Final Fantasy so. game later. I definitely want like Final Fantasy 15 to its girls this time. Yeah. But also, I thought of first, but then also, so I had two other points when uh, I overheard some people argue, like having a passionate argument about this game. Deve- they were both game developer dudes. Yeah. Who were like one upping each other. Um, so they were like, oh yeah, well I, I remembered every girl I knew in Japan who played Final Fantasy and I was like, these girls will love this game. Like girls that I worked with at a uh, game studio wh- where I worked. Like, uh, I'm like, yeah, they would god darn love this game with these chill dudes. Yeah. This is exactly their kind of my dudes. My favorite thing about Final Fantasy 15 is that you can, you, you don't, like there is fast travel, but you can also like in real time drive for 15 minutes and just listen to the radio. Oh yeah, I actually love that. I was I listening lo- to the Final I love Fantasy 7 so one. much. It is like my favorite, favorite, favorite thing. So also, uh, Final Fantasy 10 2 is, is all girls and it rules. Final Fantasy 10 2 is totally, totally awesome. Final Fantasy 10 2 is an incredible game. I, I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. Uh, it's so chill. Yeah, we're just going to try to get a charisma skill up a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to get enough money for the wedding, and then I think we're going to call it. But also, uh, uh, someone is mentioning get in the car, loser. Get in the car, loser. Uh, uh, Christine looks loves fantastic. upcoming game. It looks yeah. amazing. Yeah. Uh, Christine is a bud of mine, and I am so like excited every time she makes something. But this game looks really, really special. I'm ready. I'm ready to play it. Yeah, it's an really intense that that one character looks so much like me. <laughs> I'm gonna yell at it when I play it. Is it you? It's not me. She said that she would never. Uh, I am a way cooler than than the the main character of Getting the Car Loser. Because the ca- main character. So wait, okay. Is the main character of Getting the Car Loser the loser who's being told to get in the car, or the the winner who's telling the loser to get into the car? Um. Ah, you just blew my mind, my dude. I mean, I guess I we're gonna know. have to play it to find out. Christine, love if you're watching. Christine, if you're watching, give us the game now. Give give me personally the game now. Also, I really hope that it's my character telling a loser to get in the car because I don't want I don't want the game to be nominally calling me a loser. Okay, we. I do enough of that myself. We've worked really hard. <laughs> we've worked really hard. Uh, our sim is now engaged. We have the money required for a wedding. I'm gonna uh-huh. set. I'm gonna set the date, right now. Set the date. First, I'm gonna take a put it on right a here. plate. Someone in the so, chat is asking, "Is it true that I saw lightning bolt in 1996?" I did. Next I'm question. Add event, and it's gonna be wedding. And then. Oh, thousand dollars for a wedding. You have to have a thousand dollars. Man, you hear people complain all the time about how expensive their kids' weddings are, right? Like in movies, it's a thousand dollars. That's nothing. I have a thousand dollars. That's my joke. Oh my god, I need Okay, so you you'll be the caterer. Yeah, you're selected as the caterer. Um uh, and you can be the mixologist. And I don't have enough money to hire a musician. It's fine. It's going to be fine. And then Hire a lightning bolt. <laughs> that would be amazing. Wouldn't it be amazing to just walk down the aisle to just like very intense droning music? Man, I'm Facebook friends with Brian Gibson uh and I have been for so long. Oh, and, wow. uh, yeah, maybe I should ask him to come over 
and stream something with us. Wouldn't that he, be fun? That would be super fun. Because he made uh, Thumper. We should definitely play some Thumper, just like in general. You Worked know? on Rock Band and whatnot. Uh, okay. This is my favorite here. park. Center Park is my favorite park. So let's marry here. And like, let's have a ceremony at noon tomorrow? Okay. I Great. messaged him once on Facebook and asked if he could get me into like their Oakland show. And he's just like, yeah. Hell yeah. And he just put my name on the list and I got in. Was it really good? I missed them when they it came ruled. to Oberlin. But I saw Boris and that was amazing. I've seen Boris uh, 32 times. Right, because you saw them a bunch in Japan, right? Yeah, 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 where they were woefully unpopular. That's so sad. Yeah, I mean, now I guess it's a little bit better for them. Light <laughs> Lightning Bolt is definitely one of the best, one of the best bands to see. I have to see them next time they come around. All right. Um, that is it for this episode, though. Thank you so much for watching me lure this young, this this older man into what is only going to be a horrible mistake for him. This young old Noctis. This young old Noctis. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I I feel bad for what's going to happen to him, but I'm also Living really excited. Dead man. Next time we're going to try to kill him. We're going to marry him and then try to kill him. You're going to MK. Yeah. Oh yeah. The real the marital combat. <laughs> <laughs> Living Dead Man. That's going to be the name of the YouTube version of this video. Marital Combat. Marital Combat, colon, yeah. Living Dead Man. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out. Goodbye. Bye. And remember, if it sounds like bingo and it looks like bingo, it's probably bingo. It probably is. Welcome back and goodbye.